What is going on guys? Sam Ado here, SCA Fitness TV, week five chest. So we are revisiting sort of like week one parallel. So phase two. Um, phase yeah, phase two, but we're kind of catching on to the same session, wet range, um, in and around the same weight as week one. So for me personally, I'm gonna revisit the weights of week one. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try and gauge if I've improved from week one. Am I physically stronger? Can I take that weight better? Can I last longer as my muscle endurance increase? So all of that sort of stuff is gonna be coming to you today from in the gym. So let's get in there, let's train hard, and let's just leave a stamp in the gym and finish strong on chest. Spilling this thing. Cool. So, flat bench. Favorite thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could you could say that. Favorite thing. Um, so I haven't changed the weight from week one. I'm going back to the same weight. As I said in a in a brief intro, key thing is I want to see if, from a uh, strength perspective, can I go through the four sets stronger than I did in week one. Uh, Laws of physics would suggest, yes, I should be able to, but sometimes you can't explain laws of physics, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, so I've put the same weight on as well I did in week one, 20, 20 aside, uh, four sets, 12 to 15 reps. I'm gonna go through it. If I do generally feel it's a lot easier, then I will look to put the weight off, but I think um, for the sake of the first exercise, I'm probably gonna try and just work through this. So let's get after it and uh, let's start strong. So good. It looks like the weight's right this week. I mean, the weight's right. Um, could I go heavier? Maybe. Um, I might put a 2.2, 2.5 on in the next set just to, just to feel a little bit more of a pinch. But um, yeah, in terms of strength, I think it's a accumulation of things. Shro shoulders are stronger, chest is stronger, biceps are stronger, triceps are, are certainly stronger. And that's all leading to kind of more successful lifts. So. In terms of uh, the experiment on the flat bench, it's gone according to plan. But again, key is to get a good session in and to, to maintain a positive session. So after how catastrophic it went on week one, which, <laughs> you know, go, go to week one's chest vlog and you'll kind of see some of the problems that I had there and sort of where the shoulder injury kind of started coming from and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so far, so good. Admittedly, we're only one exercise in, which is a long way to go but let's just kind of stick to it. So I think uh, one of the vlogs, I was talking about principles, defining your own principles. So again, this is one of mine. I, I've kind of, I, I know in my mind what I need to do. One of them is to not get greedy with the weight. So I'm gonna leave it as it is, just get through the motion, keep the form good, get the shoulders pinned back, chest out, go through the, um, go through the range and, uh, and hopefully finish flat bench strong with a good platform to build through the rest of the week. So let's get set forward and let's keep it moving. Yep. Sweet. So felt I did feel the additional weight, but again, uh, because now I've got belief, in what I can do, I'm feeling stronger, muscles are building the right way. When I got to about eight, nine reps, I started to feel you know, that bit of tiredness starting to creep in, but at no point did I think, oh, you know what, I can't get to 50. So again, it's a, it's, a, it's a mental thing, but it's also as well having some confidence in your body because you're developing it in the right way. So flat bench successful, I get the numbers in, and we're gonna keep it moving onto the next exercise. Couldn't get on Smith press machine, 
Couldn't get on. Cable flies. <laughs> so far, so good. Couldn't get on anything else. So we're going to come to the uh, CE5 machine. To be perfectly honest, it probably makes say it makes sense. It's not a bad idea to do it now um, because we're going to be doing yeah exactly. We're going to be doing another fly exercise later on. So to actually do it now is probably not a bad idea. Four sets, 15 reps. Uh, I think week one was around 52 kg, so I've gone up to 59, so a level of improvement. It's 15 reps, no, no negotiating, it's 15 reps, so let's go. Burns horrible. Ooh, that burn is horrible. Uh, uh, I don't know why. I'm just feeling a lot of burn in my shoulders. Even though for all the weeks I always do 15 reps on this. Today, for some reason, I'm just feeling so much burn. But it's good burns, positive burn. But boy, doesn't it hurt. It's horrible. Uh, three sets down. Pretty consistent with how it's gone. I have been feeling the pinch a little bit at around sort of the 10 rep range. Um, and then just kind of gritting through, powering through for the other five. But um, we're getting through it. But yeah, the chest feels quite solid. I'm looking forward to getting back to the pressing as well. See what we can do there. So, uh, so far, so good. Gonna hit set four now. Again, if you're feeling fatigued and getting tired, rest pause if you want. Uh, but if you rest pause, extra, extra rep. No, no, uh, no questions asked, doctor's orders. Um, so yeah, just get through the 15 reps and uh, let's keep it moving. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Done. Oh my God. That was good. It was good. It was that, it was that nice pain on the last, on the last set. So um, yeah, good. I was happy with the form as well. It's nice and slow, Cons uh, muscles were contracting right. Uh, so all good, gonna get this documented down. We're gonna move on now on to Smith Machine, is it free? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. So you we got onto it? Yeah, got onto it. It only took, took long enough <laughs> to get on it, but we're here, we're probably on the better one of the two as well, so I'm all right with that. <laughs> but um, four sets, 12 to 15. I've gone up slightly. This could be really foolish. I've gone up 5kg. Especially after that break as well. Just yeah, to... you, you know. But we'll see. It's one of those things where, should I have just left it at 20? Or should I have put, should I have gone up like I have? But I've gone up, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, feel good. So we'll get through the first few sets and I'll be able to let you know if I've made a fatal mistake <laughs> and ruin my session. But we'll push through it. We feel strong, so uh, let's go. One more for good luck. Oh, that was your yeah. rule you made there, remember? Say again? If you rest pause, you do one extra rep. That was yeah, your rule. Yeah, so I live by my own rules, my own principles. That was a tough set, to be fair. Uh, that's why I stopped at 12. Uh, took a little rest pause and then just went straight back in. I didn't, I didn't afford myself too much rest. I think it was only five, 10 seconds. And I went straight back in. Uh, so that was good. Set me up ready for the final set. Uh, definitely strength has improved. That I can, I can definitely see from week one to now, I'm a lot stronger and that's, that's an accumulation of things. So really happy with how things are progressing. Um, 
and in, in a weird way I'm probably I'm probably benefiting from having to change up the workout so still doing the same exercises just in a different order yeah, and probably it, get a better pump exactly you know get better pump it's shocking the body because your mind is already sort of telling your muscles what's coming next what's coming next but the fact that it's all changing around and things like that um, I think it's just adding to uh, adding to the workout my body feels differently to, to, um, um, to I suppose what I'm trying to say is when you when you do the same workout repeatedly you know how your body's going to feel at certain parts of that workout but because I've changed it up um, today my body's feeling different to how I would have assumed it should feel by a certain point because I've done certain exercises in between stuff. and it's a positive thing I feel it's just get it's just you know making me stronger so so far so good I'm happy with where I am I'm happy with what I'm lifting um, the only way is up staying positive um, and it's in a, in a, and it's a great thing being able to transition uh, you know kind of like a positive mental state into every workout through every cycle so so far so good uh, keep it going let's hit set four together and uh, let's finish this uh, incline chest press strong let's go Done, done, with a rest pause, extra rep, happy. <laughs> We're getting strong. We're getting strong with making those gains. Uh, and that's what it's about. Are the cables uh, free? Uh, I think yeah, let's get to the cables real quick. Catch you there. We had to make a quick transition off <laughs> Smith Machine onto here. Now you see me, now you don't. Um, yeah, Smith Machine finished, finished strong, finished well. So uh, yeah, got the four sets in, 15 reps happy with that we've moved over now to incline cable flies um, so again check what you did when we introduced it in the week um, and then it's, it's 15 reps non-negotiable so let's get after three four sets To standing, yeah, standing flies. So I'm just gonna set it up because there's a cube. This is one of my favourite exercises <laughs> for chest. So, um, yeah, getting tired, feeling it in my shoulders, chest is starting to burn. So that's all good things. It just doesn't feel great, but it's all good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the workout's going well. It's going uh, better than expected. But again, it just shows that everything we've done over the first few weeks is working. So I'm really happy with the fitness foundation platform of where I am right now. I'm gonna get set four now, finish strong, and uh, let's keep it moving. Uh, all the flies are done now. Um, I kind of, I didn't stop and, and talk after the incline fly, cable flies, because people, people queue in, and just because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> and you know, when I adhere to gym etiquette and courtesy, I kind of went through my ropes quickly so someone else can get on. But 
got a really, really good pump. Probably one of the best pumps I've had so far since, since I started training chest. Um, so yeah, really felt strong. So get everything jotted down, know your numbers, know, the, know your reps, splits, all of that sort of stuff. Get it jotted down, then we move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is the final one for chest, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I think it's the final one. I think what I'm gonna do, I've gotta be careful because of my shoulder. But I'm gonna initially start on the dip machine. Now, as you get stronger, by, by right, your arms getting stronger, you should be able to kind of dip. But I'm probably not there yet. So if, 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 if that flakes, if I flake on there, stink it up, stink up the joint. I'm getting over to the dip machine, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and uh, I'm feeling strong. So I'm going to test out normal dips first. If I don't have the strength, I'm going to move over to the dip machine, and we'll kind of get cracking on there. So I'll catch you guys over there in a second. So Go. you're not doing this one? No. As soon as, soon as I even tried to put, you know, the smallest amount of weight on my left arm, I could just feel my shoulder starting to starting to go. So I'm going to get back onto the seated machine. Just keep it safe. Get the same contraction pump but um, just a more safer way of getting that, getting that same movement. So we're gonna move over now, wait in the queue, and, uh, and get cracking. Your plan is to get... Change the plan, couldn't be bothered to wait for the, um, for the dip machine to take it forever. So what I'm doing is bonus exercise. So check the form. I'll rename it when I finish, when I figured out what the name is. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think pull it's over, pullovers, it? that's yeah. the one. Yeah, pullovers. So lying pullovers with a, with a chest press the chest press so um it's going to work in the range of um in fact i'm thinking whether she really lower the lower the weight and no no we're going to work in set of 10 we're going to work in set of 10 so it's going to be a consistent consistent one it's a bonus exercise so uh yeah 10 reps 10 to 12 reps we'll be looking at 10 is about right um four sets <laughs> So I did a few rest pauses. You lost your hat on it as well? Every yeah, set? I lost my hat a few times, yeah. The hat, the hat came off. That was just the pure <laughs> intensity. It's all about the gains that was there. Um, so now on to cardio. We're going to hit cardio quickly. Uh, seven minutes, so three minutes on the bike. Seven, uh, four minutes on the treadmill. I'm not looking to set any PBs. I'm not really looking to set any uh, uh, fast times. This is going to kind of like be a moderate one. So the level is going to be around, uh, I think it's, is it 15, 14, 15? I think it's about 15. Um, and we're looking to see what we can get, you know, within reason over the uh, three minutes. So I'm just looking to look at that. And exactly the same with the treadmill. We're just going to get a really good, um, solid kind of um, session on each of those. Because my legs are still really sore after legs um, a couple of days ago. So let's get after it. Oh, and, and have your music ready as well. Slipping off the pedal. Yeah, it's uh, got a lot of pressure on your quad. Yeah, it had to, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's a lot harder. Uh, but I think, kind of like PBs and stuff like that, I was kind of not far off. I was on kind of maybe 0.01 or something like that. So uh, it was pretty quick. Yeah, out of breath, but let's move straight over to the treadmill and let's get cracking.
wasn't hard because of the speed. It was hard because I've been in my quads, my legs. Oh. Oh. Thank goodness that's over. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do the Stairmaster later. Yeah. Honestly, I've no idea how I'm going to do that later. But that was... Yeah, I felt. Really felt that. But, you know, no rest for the weekend. Uh, get the levels written down. The time, uh, sorry, the uh, distance from the bike. Let's go straight into arms. Let's go, let's do this bicep. So, let's start, let's start biceps. Uh, we're gonna start with seated preacher on a machine. So, I'm gonna start off at around... Probably that way, isn't it? For 15 minutes. No, I'm gonna start off around 54. Start moderate 54. What's the uh, reps? Four sets of 10. Uh, so just kind of push through, keep some consistency. If the weight's too light, just go up incrementally. But um, ideally, you want to get a really good pump in the bicep. So let's work through. Keep the pace strong as well, just so we get a you know an element of cardio, and also we're getting through, maximising the pump in the muscles. We're not kind of just letting them you know sag down and all of that sort of bad stuff. Let's go. <laughs> is barbell curl so again I've put conservative weight on 10 should feel the pinch three sets of 10 I'm just gonna work through this now really quickly um, try and keep the form as best as you can you don't want to swing and all that sort of stuff taking the barbell up to the top so you're fully contracting the biceps and then coming all the way down so try and keep good principles good form let's get these three sets out done and dusted let's work quick work smart work strong <laughs> that is absolutely set them on fire. Uh, oh, feeling tired now. We're getting to that point where it's like it's kind of past second wind time. You, you know, it's not that I can't finish the workout, finish it strong. It's just you get to that point where you know the sights, sight, the, the finish line's in sight. I'm just trying to push keep working. Through it. Yeah, push through it. So we're gonna move to the next exercise now. So three sets of ten done. Uh, you know, I kept good form, got a really good pump contraction of the biceps, so, so we've trained that really well. Moving on to the last exercise now, we're going to do a um, uh, uh, hammer fist, um, hammer fist curl, and I'm probably going to do doubles rather yeah. than singles, we're not going to do doubles. Usually, yeah, what you want to do is, um, I, don't, I don't really um, kind of choose between doubles and singles to, to the extent where I kind of go yeah I'm definitely doing singles or yeah I'm definitely doing doubles. Doubles are t typically harder so what I always advise is start off with doubles if you get tired switch to singles because you'll get extra reps out of singles so kind of you know think about it do it that way and you should be good to go. Let's get after it. It's one of the best bicep sessions I've done where the pumps real, you know, it's a real thick pump. So, yeah, really happy with that. Got it because it looks like I'm, oh, I'm going to miss out on the cross trainer. So, 
I am really, really gutted about that. Yeah. Really gutted. Yeah. Um, so, I'm not going to hang about and wait for Although, yeah, I think, I think it might be a bit of a... Uh, yeah, they look like they're both into it. It might be a bit of a wait, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do another interval on the treadmill and then get onto the, uh, onto the cross trainer for free. Yeah. And we'll kind of end up from there, so just, you know, changing it up a little bit. Um, yeah, nothing major. Let's get after it, let's go. Hard on the last, the last like 30 seconds, last minute 30 seconds. But that killed me. It was hard. Um, but I think it was only like one off, a PB or just like a few. I'm not too sure how many. Probably ten, I think. Ten off. Yeah. That's not bad, guy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's a pretty good. Um, I just want to get out of here now. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, it's been a really good session. Probably been. I would say it's probably been the best chest chest test. <laughs> the best chest session so far. It's definitely been that. Um, yeah, managed to activate all the different muscle groups. Managed to work through all the sets, you know, the good form, good discipline. Had to change the workout a little bit, but I actually think it was probably to its benefit that it's, it's Yeah, it's really helped more. Absolutely. So um, it's gone well. So we're gonna get out of the gym now, time's ticking. It's time to get home, get something to eat. Pick an early night's in order. Uh, legs are on fire. So, as always, you know, catch us on social media Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Hashtag SCA Journey. Hashtag SCA Fitness TV. Uh, as always, if you are new, subscribe, comment, share, and like. Always, you know, like to kind of see and hear all the things that people are up to. Um, as always, just stay focused, stay motivated, stay disciplined, uh, stay in the moment, and really dig deep now because we're getting to that stage where, you know, it, it is going to bite, bite in the ass. So just stay, so stay strong and positive. Uh, I'm your boy Salado. Catch you next time. Peace.